bottle. Life in a bottle. I've got life in a bottle over here. Who wants some? Hey there, nice gullible sheep. What's wrong? What's wrong? Bones not strong enough. Not strong. Dong not long enough. Hairline gone too much. I've got whatever you need. Please form a line to the left. I take cards, checks, shit. If you're out of cash, I'll snatch your last breath. I'm the medicine man. A canner can can anything that he can, but a canner can't can cancer, can he? Sure, I can't either. But the high from the ether I spit when I see your wallet has an insurance card retards the fact I'm no PhD. You can see, you can see me. Dick not hard, depressed. Are you over, underweight, too tall or short? Do you get headaches? Does your plate hold dessert? Does your hair make a shirt? Do crowds stress your nerves? Do words backward look? You can't cook? Oh. I've got a book full of pills for you. One's designed to chill your mood. Your son in school? Yeah, he fiddles around way more than the rest of the seven-year-olds. Truth be told, he needs Ritalin. He has ADD. God damn it, he won't pay attention to me. We feed drugs to ourselves. Walgreens shelves sell you dream schemes on how to get healthy while still being lazy. It's amazing. Chasing a faster you from a chair. Put electrodes where we elect those fares, not knowing the cost. Yet regret is spared until someone is lost. It drops our jaws when pause is impressed, stressing to get the next miracle out on the market. I saw a miracle. It's about a year ago. Some guy tried suicide by sliding his jeep onto the train tracks. To make sure the impact followed the map, he douses his jeep in gas and gets strapped. Along comes a train that has gained full speed, and that shell of a man's plan begins to recede. He leaps from his car as he falls to his knees. He prays as he bleeds that the train doesn't stop. Hitting his car as it spins like a top, derailing it flops like a fish out of water. Jumping the tracks on hold, switching collars, and smashing a car alone, just stalled there, jackknifing and hitting another train full of scholars, mothers, daughters. Fathers on their way home from work, all caught in one big circle jerk. Yet hurt is the only reward. Sure, a miracle was mentioned. I think the fact your God ended only eight lives is a laugh in His face, a spit in His eyes. How many survived? How many still ride the rails daily, then arrive safely to their home and their babies? Because maybe your God failed in His mission. The precision needed to make that all happen would take way too much math, and most of us failed algebra. The miracle is man in all our glory. The whole Bible story is boring and makes no sense. Henceforth, it's yours. Life is your gift, shifting and changing, rearranging a million times over. Every day, your death is closer. If your plan is to show your God you're special, make something happen, create something beautiful. It's your personal duty to take care of yourself. No wealth comes from spending money and irresponsibility. The ability to excel is within you. You just have to yell. I have been through enough of this hell. Then begin to recast the spell. I promise, it's simple. You just have to believe in yourself. But if that's too much to ask, I've got this flask full of pills for one hundred fifty-three dollars a bottle because it works.